Hello deal makers. So in this video we are going to talk about you know, how a secretary you no know, turned one hundred eighty dollars into nine million you know, through investing in the stock market. And you know, why is this important? Well I feel that it's important because once you know how she did it, it's going to give you ideas on how you can grow your money passively. Because as you will see later, she did not do any day trading. It was really simple buy and hold of, you know, of just actually one stock. And you're going to see how it's very simple you know, to grow crazy amounts of wealth. Now, if you're from the Philippines, $180 is just 9,000 pesos. Not anyone can save 9,000 pesos. And when you have that, you have the potential to grow that 9,000 into 9 million is 450 million pesos but well, that's crazy that's crazy crazy amount of money and even if you don't meet that even if you just achieve 10 percent of what she did that's still 45 million so the principle that you're going to learn in this video is really very simple anyone can do it as long as you're willing to learn so i hope you stick around till the end of the video and for those of you who don't know me my name is Ron Tregape as I'm the author of the book No Money Down Formula in Real Estate and this book teaches you how to buy properties with little or no money down I am also the one of the co-authors of the book Money Troubleshooters as your clueless and irreverent money questions answered by financial gurus and why am I getting into the global stock market even though I am primarily a real estate investor. Well, what I have learned you know, in this year is that you need to have multiple streams of income. That's very important you know, to diversify your assets, diversify your streams of income. And that's why I'm getting into the global stock market. So I won't take you uh, to take too much of your time anymore. Let's dive in you know, into the topic of today's video, how a secretary turned $180 investment into nine millions through stock market investing and this is so simple this is so easy anyone can do it as you can see later who is our secretary our secretary is actually a woman named grace groner yes, she was a secretary for 43 years at abbott laboratories she never got promoted not to become vice president of anything. No, she was really just a secretary. She worked hard for 43 years. Wow, that's really a long time now of sticking now into one company. She she retired probably at a uh, really old age, probably around 70 years old, maybe. And she stuck with one company, didn't increase her income uh, massively, didn't start a business. So you and she even she actually bought only one stock she bought the stock of the company where she was working in so she bought three shares of abbott laboratories for 60 dollars each all right so that's three shares at 60 dollars each and she was able to buy that you know, uh, because she was an employee of Abbott Laboratories. So there, there was an option for the employees you know, to buy shares. And I guess that's that's all the money that she had at that time, the $180. She was able to buy three shares of that particular stock. Now, the amazing thing is she never sold uh, those shares. You know, she held uh, those original three shares until she passed away in 2010 so in 2010 and what she did was she would reinvest the dividends the thing uh, because abbott laboratories is in the u.s and you know many uh, many of these global companies uh, what happens is when they reach a certain point they would make a decision of course to issue cash dividends that also happens here in the philippines you know, uh, when a company has a lot of profit they would issue cash dividends but sometimes they would also do what is called a stock split or they would issue stock dividends now you'll get more shares instead of cash and grace never sold uh, any of those extra shares that she had whenever a stock would split 
And the amazing thing here is you know, when you get more shares, so for example, she had three, if the, uh, if the sh stocks of Abbott did a two-in-one split, you know, meaning there would be a double, a doubling of the shares that she had. So from three shares, she would now have six shares. And from six shares, if there's another two-in-one stock split, then she would have 12 shares. So as the number of shares grew, of course, the dividend income also grew because you, know, you would get dividends based on the number of shares that you had. So the more shares she had, the more dividends she would get. And the cool thing that what she really did here is she would reinvest all of those dividends back into buying more Abbott laboratory stock. So that's why she did not need to put in any more money because what she did was just she would reinvest the dividends that she would get. And she held for a very, very long time. Yes, she held for 75 years. That's an amazing, no, amazingly long uh, time. She actually died no, in 2010. She passed away in 2010 at the age of, I think, 100 years old. Uh, how many people reach 100 years old? But at that point, she already had $9 million you know, in her portfolio. And the cool thing that she did was she actually donated $7 million you know, to a local college you know, where she lived. Uh, I think it was Lake Forest uh, Community College. And so she, her, her wealth, the wealth that she built up was able to, you no, know, she was able to leave a legacy you know, in that college. That's a really cool thing to do. Maybe for you, maybe it's not a college, maybe it's your family. How, how do you think your family would feel if they were to receive a share of that three four of that 450 million uh, peso fortune it would really um, absolutely change their lives right that's that's mo life-changing money out there and it all started with only 180 dollars in investment uh, grace was never a stock market investing expert she didn't need to be all she needed to do was to reinvest, you know, reinvest what she had, reinvest her profits and hold for 75 years. That's the magic of compound, uh, compounding at work. Yes. The good thing here is everyone can copy what Grace did, even if you don't live or work in the U.S. And why can I say that? Well, of course, Grace was able to do this. She actually came into Abbott Laboratories in the 1930s, 1931, I think, and she bought her share in the, her three original shares in 1935. Now, obviously, at that point, only Americans uh, could have bought Abbott Laboratory stock or only rich people who could go to the U.S. who could buy Abbott Laboratory stock at that time. And even as, as late as 20 years ago, it was not really easy you know, to get into the U.S. stock market because you needed to have a U.S. address and you needed to have a U.S. bank account you know, to make it all work. So it wasn't easy for anyone to get started investing in the United States. You either had to be working there uh, or you probably could be working here for a company that had, for a global company uh, that is listed in the U.S. stock market. So only those people, but now everyone can copy what Grace did. It doesn't have to be Abbott. There are a lot of choices there, but you also need to copy what Grace did, you know, the lessons that uh, Grace, Grace's practice you know, is imparting on us. So what is the first lesson? You, know, you really need to be in the market. Now, you can't be a spectator. Investing is not a spectator sport where you get a high from these kinds of stories. Now you need to be there, you need to be investing. And the cool thing here is you don't need to be day trading, right? You don't really need to be playing the market because probably you're just like me. I'm a real estate investor. I'm a trainer. I'm an author and a speaker. I'm not really a stock market trader, right? But we can all be a stock market investor like Grace Groner. You just need to buy 
uh, obviously I, I don't recommend just buying one stock now right because there there is also the principle of diversifying your risk but as long as you are in the market as long as you own shares in the market now that's the important thing that is really the first lesson you need to put in money to make money in the stock market okay now it's not important to time your entry into the market now it's not important to say now, what's the best time or when is the best time not to buy shares in the market at that time uh, 1935 the u.s actually was probably just recovering you know, from the great depression of the 1920s 1930s so i'm not really quite uh, very familiar with the great depression and with the history of all that but what i do know is that was a time when the their stock market crashed that was one of the scariest times you know, uh, it was really a time when a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of companies closed down which is like what's happening here right now right we have a recession where you know, companies are closing down because of the pandemic and that was probably the experience at that time and a lot of people were actually you know, going into poverty you know getting hungry because there were no jobs no jobs were being created and so grace was a product of that environment and probably that's why she was very frugal she lived within her means she saved up everything um, she saved up money so that she could invest in the stock market invest in the company that she is working in and you know if you're in that situation you're working for a great company you know that the company is great the management is great the business is doing great then that may be a good time not to consider buying shares in the company that you work for and you don't need to time the entry right what's really more important is that is the length of time not the timing so if you will remember that was 75 years right grace held abbott laboratory stocks for 75 years so it's not really the timing that's important it's the length of time that you stay in the market all right so if we look at grace's return on investment it's actually not uh, astronomically high because now her starting investment uh, was $180. The ending value of that investment was $9 million. And the investment period is 75 years. So if you put in you know, these numbers into a financial calculator, right? So I actually have a, an app on my mobile phone, which is a financial calculator, that you know, uh, when you put in those numbers, it will give you the computation for Grace's annual return on investment. Uh, her average annual ROI, and that is 15.52%. That is her uh, annual uh, compounded you know, uh, ROI. So it's not really that high, right? So 15%, uh, it's a little bit better, maybe, or just within the range of some of the mutual funds that we have here. That ROI is definitely doable you know, in many companies here in the Philippines. So there, there's really, uh, you may not need to go into the US. But the cool thing here is there are a lot of stocks, you know, local and worldwide, that can give you this kind of return. That's, what, that's why I'm saying it's not that hard. You don't need to be an expert you know, to do this. Anyone can do this. If Grace can do it, you and I can do it as well, OK? The third thing, it's not really that uh, it's not really the amount of money that you put in that matters, right? It's again, it's time. It's the length of time that you let it grow. If you only have small capital, it doesn't matter. You just need to you know, uh, put it in the market and give it time to grow. As it grows, you reinvest the profits. Right? Any profits that you gain, you reinvest by buying shares of more. Uh, of the same stock or other stocks that you think are going to uh, perform well over the long term as well so if we if we go back here grace's starting investment was only 180 dollars that's just nine thousand pesos in today's money right so it's not a huge amount 
So that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying here is you can start with a small amount, but just give it time to grow. Okay. Of course, it's going to be much better for you if you're able to put in small amounts of money regularly. Right? It's going to, you don't need to wait for 75 years. Okay? So as you get extra money, you put it in so that your capital also grows as well. Okay. The thing here, lesson number four in what Grace did is you need to invest in a winning company. And Abbott Laboratory is one such winning company. It's a blue chip pharmaceutical company that is well run, well managed. They have a lot of products. They're always expanding their business. And in fact, one of the gurus of value investing in the US named Benjamin Graham called Abbott Laboratories as one of the stocks that you need to own forever. You need to own this company forever. Of course, what by that he means you need to own this for a long time because we don't know anyway if Abbott will, we don't know what Abbott will look like 100 years from now. It's quite possible that you know, the company would fail uh, down the line. But as long as you know, they're, uh, they're a market leader, as long as they're you know, making money, they're experiencing growth, then they are a winning company. So if you will look, like, look at what happened with Abbott Laboratories chart, okay, here, starting in 1980, the adjusted price of Abbott Laboratories is 0.74 US dollars. Okay, the, the reason why you get the adjusted price is because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Abbott stock, sometimes they do a stock split. Right? So when, when it does a stock split, the value doesn't automatically, uh, the, the value doesn't remain as it is. So in, in uh, Grace's case, because her shares were at $60 each, each share, when there is a two for one stock split, what will normally happen is she will get six shares, but the value or the price of the stock will drop to $30 per share. So $30 times six shares, it's still $180. So it will remain the same. She will just have more shares of stock. But of course, what happens is the stock price also goes up in value over time, which is what we are seeing here. The adjusted price of Abbott in December 5, 1980 was 0.74 here, 0.74 US dollars. And no, today it's at 107 USD or US dollars. Go. That's more than 100 times growth in investment. So if you bought uh, Abbott stock in 1980, well, it would have already grown a hundred times without you know, without counting the dividends that Abbott has um, given all throughout the years. And if you can see here, the dividend yield is 1.34%. Uh, that means every year they would give 1.34% uh, of $107. So that's like uh, $1, right? $1. So every time uh, you get the idea here is every time you get dividends from Abbott, you use those dividends to buy more Abbott shares. All right, so this is a, an example of a company, of a strong growth company that you should be owning for the long term because if you look at the trajectory, the trajectory has been growing for this particular stock ever since, the, ever since they have data. Because the data here is only until 1980. We don't know the data starting 19. 30s. All right. So we there are a lot of companies like that in the global market. And you need to do what uh, I have been telling you, what Grace did. You need to reinvest the profits, put it back. So don't take it out um, just yet, especially in the early days. Okay. Later on, when it is already big, so you can choose to uh, get some of the dividend income uh, for your retirement. So now you can use this for your retirement when you're in your 60s or 70s, uh, in addition to maybe your pension fund, your SSS, uh, to whatever investments that you have, maybe in addition to your real estate rental income, then it's also nice to get dollars, right? That's the cool thing. You're getting US dollars, uh, even though you are investing in pesos, even though you are you know, getting money in pesos, okay? So reinvest the profits, and so that it will grow, uh, you will let the power of compounding work for you. 
All right. Like I said, everyone can copy Grace right now, even if you don't live or work in the US. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. And uh, um, I'm going to share a platform that will allow you to do just that. Now, the platform that I use to invest in US and global stocks is eToro. So maybe you have seen you know, a lot of those eToro ads uh, where they have the Joe and yeah, something else, someone else, Simon, Joe and Simon, right? And I also saw you know, those, uh, uh, that actor, there's the uh, famous actor, I forgot his name. But yeah, eToro will allow you to invest in global stocks even if you don't live or work in the USA. Right? The great thing with eToro is allow you truly global market access. So it's not just the US stock market, but you can buy stocks in uh, European stock exchanges and in London, in Frankfurt. You can buy in Hong Kong, you can buy in, uh, I think you can also buy in Tokyo, in Australia. So it's truly global. If you hear of any companies that are listed you know, not just in the US, but in other locations, maybe you work for some of these companies, then uh, if you don't have employee options, then go into eToro and buy shares of these great companies, okay? Cool thing here, there's zero commission when you buy, uh, when you buy stocks in eToro. But the thing is there's, in eToro, it's not just stocks. Now, there are a lot of other instruments there. You know, there are uh, CFDs, uh, there are, you can buy oil, you can buy Bitcoin, you can buy different commodities, metals as well. Uh, but for those, you already have to pay a commission. But when you buy stocks, it's zero commission. So whatever you put in, you can use all of that you know, into buying uh, actual stock. All right, so that's what makes eToro cool. It's really, really made for the small investor, someone who doesn't trade as often. So when you put in your money, it all goes into uh, your stock purchase, okay? And you can buy fractional shares. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, for example, uh, Abbott Laboratories, that's $100, right? And maybe, you know, of course, if you, put in, uh, if you put in $200, then you can buy two shares of Abbott stock. But if you see earlier, that was $107, right? You don't need to put in $214 to buy two shares of Abbott stock. You can actually just put in $200 and uh, it will compute. You don't need to buy an exact number, right? And you can buy 1.85 shares of Abbott. In fact, you can buy 0 0.01 shares of Abbott, okay? But in eToro, there is a minimum. There are a minimum of $50 per trade. So for, uh, for Abbott, you can buy 0.5 shares of Abbott. So that's uh, just an example of fractional shares. And if we they say take a look at Amazon, you know, Amazon is already at $3,000. So it's very hard to buy one share of Amazon because you need to have $3,000 and you need to put in $3,000. That's not easy for most of us, especially if you're only earning secretary income, right? So, but with eToro, because you can buy fractional shares, then uh, it's going to be easy to buy just a, sh a portion. You can buy 0 0.01 shares of Amazon for only $30, okay? You can, the good thing here, it's, uh, you know, they've, eToro has already thought about how do you fund, because it's going to be hard you know, to go to the US you know, to fund your account. It's going to be hard to wire transfer. It's actually expensive to wire transfer to US bank accounts, but eToro has made it easy. You can deposit uh, to eat Toro using PayPal, uh, using your credit card, or local online banking. All right, so this is really what I love about eToro. You don't need to pay expensive wire transfer fees to get started investing in the global stock market. All right, there is a minimum deposit though. You need to put in at least $200 now to get started. But you can already open a virtual account. You can open a virtual account without putting in $200 just so that you can become familiar with the platform, uh, see how it works, try to buy a few shares or buy and sell a few shares just to see how everything is working. And so that you can also check you know, the fees involved. Is it really true that it's zero commission on stocks? So you can uh, see it out for yourself and see if uh, you can understand how eToro works, okay? 
Now, here is another cool thing. There is protection for your money, right? eToro has been uh, in you know, in the stock market industry since 2010. Now, uh, I'm going to look at when eToro started, but you no, know, eToro has been at the very least, at least a 10-year company. So this is not a fly-by-night operation. And they even insure the funds of all their investors through Lloyd's of London. Now, Lloyd's of London is you know, the, I guess, one of the biggest insurance companies in the world. Uh, if not in the world, it's definitely one of the biggest in the United Kingdom or in England. So you are assured that your money is safe inside eToro. If eToro goes bankrupt, then Lloyd's of London will pay out you know, um, an equivalent amount of your investment up to $1 million. So for most of us, we won't be reaching uh, that point just yet, but uh, rest assured that your investment is insured, okay? And you can do copy trading for passive investing. You know, if you're afraid that you, may, you might make a mistake, you can actually copy traders because eToro is a social trading platform. You can actually see how others are performing. You can look at their portfolio. Uh, some of them will share their uh, their trades. So you can see uh, without any, uh, there's, there's no, um, I guess, uh, in, in the Philippine context. Because sometimes you know, if someone has bad intentions, they can just make up make up make up their performance they can claim they're a great trader and that has happened in the past huh? uh, we actually invested you know money in a so supposed to, supposed to be forex trading company and uh, he was supposed to be a very good forex trader but the tr uh, the truth was he wasn't right he was just a scammer uh, but in eToro you know when people claim that they're good traders, you can look at their profile and see their performance, see their actual performance. And you can copy their trades. It can be automatic. So you just say, okay, copy copy this investor. No, you can copy me. My, I have a public profile there. If uh, there's just a minimum, the minimum to copy is $200. So that's what you can do your initial uh, input into your eToro account. You can just set it to copy a trader. So it doesn't have to be me, right? It can be another trader, you know, someone who is better than me. And that's copy trading with, uh, that's passive investing, you know, through copy trading. Because you don't need to do anything. Whenever they make a trade, you will make a trade automatically. Okay. Here is another cool thing. You know, you get a $50 bonus, but you only you can only do that you know, if you... Open an eToro account using a referral link from someone you know. So if you know a friend who is already investing in eToro, ask for the referral link so that both of you can get a $50 bonus. Yeah, that's the cool thing, right? You get $50 and your friend gets $50. eToro is the one that's going to pay for that. Of course, you cannot withdraw that right away, right? You need to make trades, right? You need to make trades before you can withdraw that. But if you're going to follow the Grace Groner method, right, don't withdraw just leave it there. Buy more shares. That's the point. You buy more shares of whatever it is that you want to buy and you leave it there for a long time. Now, eToro is going to help you by making sure that you profit already, right? You profit 25% already from the money that you put in. Now, if you don't have any friend, if you don't know anyone who already uh, trades in eToro, then you can click my link, right? You can uh, check out my link below so that you get the $50 referral bonus. Now, if uh, I don't know how, e how long eToro is going to you know, make this bonus available, so I suggest that you act right away because they can, of course, obviously, if they reach their target, this is just a promotion. So if they reach their target already of number of users or maybe amount of money into their system, it's, li it's likely that they will take away this bonus already and it will no longer be available. So make sure that you know, if you already have money to invest, go ahead, open your eToro account so that you can claim your $50 bonus. All right, so that's eToro for you. Um, just to summarize, eToro will give you global market access. It allows you to fund your account using bank transfer or PayPal. Um, there's 0% commission. You can buy fractional shares, so you don't need to put in 
a lot of money to buy uh, shares. There's a minimum deposit of $200, but don't worry, it's insured up to 1 million Australian uh, dollars. Uh, that is for those in the, in the Asia Pacific area because we are under eToro Australia. If you are based say, in Europe, you would be under eToro United Kingdom, eToro UK, or probably eToro Cyprus. So depending on your location. So uh, the insurance will depend um, on wherever you are. So if you are under eToro uh, EU, then that's going to be 1 million euros. If you're in eToro UK, then that's going to be 1 million British pounds. You can use copy trading for passive investing and you get a $50 instant bonus when you deposit $200 using a referral link. And I suggest that you use my referral link so that you can claim the $50 bonus. All right, so that is it. I would, uh, I hope if you like this video, if you find this video informative, make sure to like the, uh, yeah, press or smash the like button, now, as some YouTube influencers would say, because that helps the YouTube algorithm identify which videos are good and which videos they, they need to show to you. So you need to like that button to make sure that you receive videos like this. And to ensure that you get videos like this, you need to subscribe. I suggest that you subscribe to my channel to get future topics like this. And I won't be just talking about the stock market. I'll be talking about real estate. I'll be talking about you no know, business as well uh, in the future. So make sure that you like, you know, to smash the like button and subscribe, click on the bell, uh, bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I have new videos uploaded into this channel. And you can also grab my free global investing guide at uh, checkout. One of the links below uh, is how you can um, download you know, that free ebook that will guide you on how to invest so that you can also copy what Grace Groner did, how she was able to uh, turn $180 into $9 million, make herself absolutely crazily wealthy. And I hope you can do that as well. Uh, again, this is Ron Kagape. Uh, wishing you, uh, encouraging you to make deals so that you can grow rich. And I hope that, I pray that may all your deals push through.